Hi guys, today we're going to see something about how to insert Excel sheet into MySQL database. So, first we need Excel sheet. So, so here already I have typed something, some data in this sheet. So, this is my sheet 1 and this is my sheet 2 and this is my sheet 3. Okay. So, I'm going to save this file. Just in the YouTube folder, I'm going to create new folder, Excel SX, and save it, and save it, and then we need a database, right? So I'm going to go to localhost page my name. Okay. Here we already have one database called YouTube, so I'm going to use this database as the database. So that's it. So local host YouTube. That's fine. So here it is. Okay. So I'm going to open up my Sublime Test Editor. PHP. I'm going to save this as. I'm going to save this file as index. Test index index.php that's it. So save that. So I'm going to type some HTML contents. HTML title is XLSX. So we have we need a form. So I'm going to use we need a form. So here it is. Uh, it has Three parameters. That is, this one is action, and that is not a parameter. It's an attribute. So attribute, meta, post, and end type is equal to multi part form. Why we are using this one is just in this form we just gonna handle some files so it is very much needed. This very much needed. So that's it. So I'm gonna use input file and name this Excel and I need one more input that is for button. And summit and name the summit. That's it. So here I'm going to open PHP section. All right. So in this PHP section, I'm going to use a if loop. If is set of dollar underscore files of what file we are going to check excel file not like that just here just copy this and paste it right here and it has a name as a key so if this this is set means it's gonna go inside the loop okay so we are all set so after that if if particular file is selected and then submitted then it it goes into this area okay so after that i'm gonna create a connection so connection is equal to mysql minus Li underscore connect. So basically, it needs four parameters. That is local host username, password, and database. So we're gonna use YouTube as my database. So that's it. If we properly connect. Uh, into database then we have to process something 
here it is. So just I'm gonna echo I to check this out whether it's working or not. So okay, YouTube, let me this some bit. Hi, it's working. It means we are just properly connected to the database also. Okay. So we just uploaded a file. We have to read the data here. Okay. So for that I'm gonna use for that I'm gonna use a simple Excel reader. So this is a library to read the data from Excel suite. That's it. So here you can have multiple options to download. This is one way. This is another way to download this file. I'm going to use this simple method because it has only one file. So I'm going to just open that file and click raw and control A to copy this and control N for move and just save this as cs.php so we have saved the library so my mouse is not working properly I guess okay then I'm gonna include this library Okay, include xlsx.php and then I'm gonna here I'm gonna read some data right so I want to read some data right so I'm gonna paste this and just use parse if you don't know how to use these things you can simply follow these things where it is it's here in the root file there is a documentation all here so you can use whatever you want just here is the syntax whole syntax is here only okay so i'm going to pass something right so i'm going to pass this thing exactly so this is a file exact file but temp name is the server location so if you don't know the temp name i'm just simply explain you a bit like if you upload if you try to upload a file to the server first the file is uploaded to this location that's it so i'm just using that temporary location that's it okay so uh, you can use a direct file name direct file name listens this file's location you can use it so i'm gonna use excel excel okay so how to read the data? Simple. Just Excel browse. Now I'm gonna print a this thing. Okay. So Just upload the same file again. Okay, 17th line, unexpected this one. Okay, so there we go. Just that's spelling this one. Include INCLUD. Okay, that's it. So, send. Another error. Okay, the 19th line. Where it is? Here. So, Do you know what I'm missing? Here is something I missed. Okay. Just refresh it. Do it. Okay. Got it. Then I'm uploading the same thing. Here we go. You just have the act access to this file. Okay. Then if you want to read something else means you can just put one here. You can be able to read the first sheet actually. I just upload the same file again. There it is. So now you are reading this thing. Okay, that's it. So I'm gonna comment this thing and 
I'm going to use a for each. For each. For each. Okay. So, for each of what? So, first we're going to do this. Okay, now we just call all the rows, that's it, it's a row, first row, okay, if you print some data here, you can understand what is clearly happening, so I'm going to print something like, print out of, or, okay, dollar row. as if you can clearly understand sorry I just removed that pre so, so you can't be able to understand that okay so you can understand exactly so what is happening for the first time, it will uh, return this thing. For the second time, it will return this thing. And third time, and fourth time, right? Every time, it returns that. Okay. So, after this, I'm going to use another for each. For what? For why? For just splitting the data. Just splitting the data, okay? Got it. cell value okay here is cell value so I'm gonna just print r of dollar cell and I'm gonna echo a breaker so that you can clearly understand what is happening so I'm just okay here it is First data, second data, third data, fourth data. Everything is happening. Okay. So now, what we need exactly? So we need to create a table and insert into that table. Okay. So first, we need what? So I'm gonna assign a variable called just simply Q right here as empty string and then I'm going to use that same Q right here with dot is equal to cell okay I'm going to do one thing so I'm going to add something called var cap of 50 that's it Mark care of 50 so here I'm gonna echo dollar Q and echo breakup so that you can understand what is really happening why we are doing that? We are just create, trying to create a query, right? So here, yum pi d, vaca tutti, name vaca tutti, so vaca tutti is happening, right? For every rose is happening. So, now we have to put some space here, and we have to tell them to like, if the row i equal to equal to zero then do this what we have to do just do this enter okay else you can do something different just copy this and paste it here 
Okay. And why we are trying to do this, you can clearly understand. So I'm going to just do it again. There is an I in issue. Okay. So I'm going to do what? This dollar I is equal to zero. That's it. And I'm going to increment this right here. So what is happening is um, on the 23rd line you can expect a row right. So on the 26th line this here it will process a single row. I think you can understand this thing. I don't know. Okay here it is. So now we clearly got what we want actually. We need some just a comma right here. Okay. We are getting that one also. So then I'm going to increment this a little bit lower because we are going to process something else right here. So okay. So if dollar i equal to equal to zero then we have to do something right what we have to do we have to create the query right so i'm gonna use query variable right here query is equal to just create query create table what's the name we want to use we want to use this name okay so i just want to show you how to do that just we are using this thing excel excel of sheet name that's it you can get the first name i guess so we just run it and check it what is happening. So create table dot just appending that Q dollar sorry dollar Q. That's it. I think we need to remove this thing. Okay, I'm checking. Okay. I just copy this and paste it right here and insert into table and then values. That's it, right? So we just need a couple of things right here and then Proceeds. Okay, I think we are good to go. Just I'm gonna echo you the query. You can understand what is happening. Okay, I'm just going here. That's possibly ever happening. Okay, 41 line. Okay, let's go to the 41 line. There it is. That's a semicolon missing. So. Recent and go, go. Okay, we have to pass something else, right? So it needs something else. So I'm gonna just use zero for now. Zero, right? So here we go. So you get the sheet name right here. So you can try something else, right? Can we read it? Yeah. Uh, test one and save it. I have saved that file. Okay. And we just check this whether it's working or not. And it is. Yeah. There you go. You got it, right? So there is a query issue here. You can understand clearly you know, that should not be here, right? Okay, we have to remove that. So, how to do that? 
just or trim i guess this is i guess something else is needed so we'll check that yeah here we go we got everything right so we need some semicolon right here this completed it so we just did for one table how to do it for another one we just did for this sheet alone we have to do this and to do this right so what we going to do so excel sheet names that's it and i'm going to just print it you can understand what is the print p r i n t print underscore r just save it and to run it again here you go so it shows all the sheets available sheet names right i'm going to use another for um sheet okay sheet that's it sheet and we going to do like copy this and use size of size of that's it save it and i'm going to end this thing right here so i'm going to pass sheet value to here and here that's it i guess okay here you go but something is missing right so we have to do same thing here also okay so how to do that we just have to do this alone that's it i'm going to delete that and you can understand yeah we just do it right so but the sheet three causing some error right so how to tackle this thing so there is a method excel dimensions dimensions okay here you go okay i'm just printing that yep this is a method so it's read writing what is that it has three columns and four rows you got it right three columns and four rows if you passing one here you can find the second sheet data okay so in the sense um, how to check this thing okay do it like if you put two means you can clearly notice okay that's the thing very good with this we have to remove this line that's it so how to do that it's simple so we have to pass the sheet variable not sheet that sheet variable and what you going to do is simply row call that's it and we have to check if score row of zero not equal to empty ampersand 
gonna roll off one march not equal to You got it right. So I'm gonna do. Okay, I just forgot to do it. Let me save it. Thank you. That is still that is an error. So sorry, we didn't say that. Okay, there we go. So this is it. We just have only two things, but okay, you can restrict, you can rewrite the logic a little bit smoother right here. So, this here is the query, right? So, I'm gonna use my SQL I underscore query. Set so dollar q w e r y it is two thing I guess I don't know I just forgot that things that's it okay if that is doing good we have this put thing echo to right okay so eight queries we have so we need we just have to expect eight times eight times two okay just import this only two times I don't know we check that is woohoo table creator table created but no entries are there so we have to check the queries a little bit so here we go insert into table where okay let's check this by just dropping it because it will show some error like you already have the database you don't do something yeah so okay let's have it just just for now, I'm just commenting this line alone because we are going to check this out. Right? Check the query whether it's working or not. So here we have, yeah, we have to mention a single code right here, here, here. Every every data must be in the single code. So we have to put single code here and here. That's it. So we have to put here a single code, a single code, okay, that's it. And then we need to do something else. Here also we have to do, we don't need here because create query is working great. So we need to do one lead right here. So I'm going to remove okay fine let's check it yeah we are doing great okay we just unleash this thing so that we can expect some better result right now and again the same issue so how to tackle this thing how to simply tackle this so there's an idea. 
قرار Okay, we just have to do this thing. Copy this. Just it in the SQL area. You can clearly notice what is happening wrong. Create table which already exists. So we just remove that thing. We don't need it. And do it again. Insert into tests. Syntax right at Insert into table values. Val this. Okay. Let's drop. Drop it. Okay. Then do it again. We just made it. Everything is true. Okay. Let's have a better comparison. So. Okay. We are displaying the E2 and sheet 1. Here it is. So test. There's a test. Everything is perfectly matched. And again go to YouTube and sheet 2. Yes, it's perfectly working. So this is it guys. If you want to improve something, you can just add in something right here so that it has primary key or something else you will need so just do it so for this video this is it for now guys thanks for watching have a nice day cheers